Hey what's up guys it's Mike from Galaxy S4 Soft Modder and in this video I'll be showing you how to zoom in and out of any app with just one finger. Of course the normal gesture is to pinch in and out but that usually requires two hands one to hold the phone and the other to perform the actual gesture. If you're multitasking or doing something that only leaves you with one hand to use your phone like you're eating breakfast and are catching up with your morning news on your phone you don't want those bacon greased fingers smudging up your screen. If you have big enough hands, you might be able to pull it off with something like this. But that just looks and feels really awkward. So I'm going to show you a much easier way to zoom in and out with just one finger. So we'll be using an app called Assistive Zoom and you do need to be rooted to use it. It's available right from Google Play so you can just download and install it from there. So your first time opening the app, you'll get this tutorial screen. Uh, basically, there's this little magnifying glass off to the side of your screen. And you just tap and drag up to zoom in and down to zoom out. So there's this practice page where you can practice uh, using the app. So once again, that's uh, tap and drag up to zoom in and down to zoom out. And uh, if you find that it jumps unexpectedly when you're zooming in and out, you can tap or check the box next to alternative pinch fix and that should make it go a little more smoothly. So once you're done practicing, you just tap get, uh, get started and you can customize some settings. So you have general settings at the top and you can scroll down for advanced settings. So up here in general settings, you can start and stop assistive zoom if you need to. You can change the trigger style. Uh, by default it's the magnifying glass off to the side. Uh, you can go with hollow for a blue and white icon and uh, the last icon style is it says S2B2. I'm not sure exactly what that means but if you know you can enlighten me in the comments. It's a uh, orange and white icon. I'm just gonna go with the blue hollow icon for now. Uh, you can change the trigger size. Uh, you have four different size options. Uh, haptic feedback if you want to feel the vibration. So here in advanced settings you can have the trigger icon automatically dim itself after a set amount of time. You can choose that uh, interval here. And you can change the transparency. If you want it to be completely transparent uh, you can go to zero. So that way it's not always completely there. It'll fade away if you don't need it. It's only there when you trigger it. So let's go ahead and test it out inside an app. So I'll be using Firefox to test it out. So you just tap and drag up to zoom in and down to move out and it works really well. It's not going to be as responsive as doing the actual pinch to zoom gesture but it gets the job done if you only have one hand to use your phone. And also, if you long press the trigger, uh, three buttons will come out. You can hide it, change the side from left to right, and head back to the settings. So far, I've tested it in a few different apps like the Google Maps and Navigation, the Photo Gallery. It even works in the camera, but for some reason, if you're using the stock TouchWiz camera, if you have the trigger assigned on the right side, for example, it will appear on the right side but only as if you're holding the phone in landscape mode so yeah there's the trigger and yeah it stays at the bottom for some reason but if you're using another camera like the Google Play Edition or another third party camera and the trigger is where it's supposed to be so that's something to watch out for if you're using assistive zoom with the TouchWiz camera uh, especially if you have it set to auto dim completely like I did and I didn't know where the trigger was but now you guys know. If you do like the app you can support the developer by getting the pro version. It's just 99 cents and it removes all ads from the settings menu and you get to choose which apps you want assistive zoom to work in. So you might only need it in a handful of apps like your web browser, maps or navigation, uh, photo gallery, and it's unnecessary for it to show up in other apps where pinch to zoom isn't possible. So you'll be able to pick and choose which apps you want assistive zoom to work in. 
So that's it for this video guys. Please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and check out the full tutorial at Galaxy S4 Softmodder.